Ten, ready or not, here we come. Look at all the houses. Which room do you think she's in? In my room. In your room? In my new car room. In your race car room? What it's really like to get ready around here. Come, like a breeze blowing by. Friday. How was your week? We have had an interesting week. Last Friday, my husband had surgery. He had a ganglion cyst on the top of his wrist. And it was kind of painful and it's been there a while and it was quite frankly just disgusting because he would go like this and there would be this huge lump of pus. Yes. <laughs> That's my thought too. Um, so he had that done. So he's one arm to one handed for the next couple weeks. And so I've been He's off of work, so he's home, and we've just kind of been doing, you know, family things outside. We took the kids mini golfing just up the road here. Just kind of doing some fun things outside. The weather's been really great. However, today it's incredibly dreary and just one of those ugh, days. Um, <laughs> but I decided to pull myself together here and film regardless of how I really, what I really wanted to do today, which was to eat pizza and chips in bed all day. Um, but that's another thing we've been enjoying is just eating crap. <laughs> For some reason when he's home, it's just like, I don't want to cook, I just, let's just get comfort food and lay on the couch all day and do nothing. Um, do you do that? Because I feel like that. When he's gone um, to work every day or when he's deployed, I really stick to a schedule kind of because I have to um, with the kids and stuff and it just to keep things rolling. Anyways, welcome to my Friday loves and my always incredibly long introduction. I just feel like between Friday and Saturday videos, I just have so much to say and I just want to kind of chit chat. Um, and um, during the week, I like try to post on Tuesday, let's see, I post Tuesday, Thursday, or Tuesday, Friday, Saturday for sure. And I've been throwing in a Wednesday video. And so usually on those Tuesday, Wednesday videos, it's either like some kind of a tutorial or a review. So it's just a little bit more straightforward. But gosh, I, it's my channel. I like to have fun with it and I can do what I want, right? So let's get into the favorites. Um, First favorite, let's get the most important things out of the way, is my wine of the week. This week I have been enjoying the Miracel Cabernet Sauvig Sauvignon. I, I don't know how to say that. Um, anyways, I've had this in the past. And we were having something specific for dinner again. And I wanted a Cabernet to pair with it. What was it? I think we were grilling out a barbecue chicken. That's what it was. And so, no, it was steak. We had steak because that was what I, I read on the back here. It pairs well with steak dishes, roasted or grilled lamb or veal, and aged cheddar. Whatever. It goes good with everything in my mind. Um, but this one's really good. It's flavors of blackberry, blackcurrant, hints of vanilla, and brown spices. Really yummy, but not too sweet because it go, in order for me to drink a red wine with meat, it cannot be a, a sweet wine. It actually needs to be a little bit more on the bitter side or a little bit more kind of... So that the sweet doesn't interfere with bringing out the flavors in the meat, essentially. But this Miracel Cabernet, it was also on sale. Um, I usually buy wines around the $9, $10 mark. Um, I've tried more expensive ones, don't get me wrong. I've tried those $30 bottles of wine just out of curiosity. And now there probably are some that are great. But I, the, the couple that I've picked up, I just was like, there's no difference. If anything, I don't like it as much. And I can buy three for the price of one. So this is my wine of the week. My coffee of the week, I've gone back to an old favorite of mine, and I just brewed myself a fresh cup with my favorite creamer, which is the Coffee Mate Coconut Cream Creamer. Mm, you gotta like coconut to love it, but this takes you on that summer. This takes me back to the first time I ever tried this creamer, which was at my now mother-in-law's house, and this is her favorite one. And it just reminds me of sitting out on the porch on a nice summer day having a cup of coffee, so this is delicious. And the coffee that it is, is the Green Mountain Coffee, I have a Keurig, uh, the Colombian Brew. I believe you can probably actually buy this in the bagged version to put in a regular drip coffee maker. I love my Keurig though. Um, and it's great if you have guests coming over, they can pick their own coffee or juice or tea or whatever. Um, so this this is the one, I've, I've drank this for years. It's really mellow, uh, very mellow, easy drinking coffee. Um, it's not as strong as the Caribou Medium Roast. I will let you know that. This is a little bit more like this. <laughs> if that's how you were to describe coffee, probably not. All right, now let's get into some beauty stuff because I have 
a great week. I know I say that every week, but you know, some weeks you just have a good, like all this stuff I'm about to talk about is on my face and it pairs well together. So first thing is a hair product actually. I've been doing this to my hair once a week. Today I didn't, I, I just washed my hair. It's actually still wet. I blue dry most of it, but it takes forever. Um, and it's actually still wet. So I decided to just kind of throw it up and it's first day clean hair and you know how that is. It's kind of limp and whatever. Um, I'll probably do it in my next video, but today I just didn't want to. Um, so I've been using the Macadamia uh, Deep Repair Mask. This really works. This makes my hair smell amazing. It makes it light and fluffy, super soft, hydrated, just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I love this product. Um, revitalizing hair reconstructor for dry damaged hair. It's it's awesome. Even if you don't have dry damaged hair, which I don't, I still use this. Um, I've been trying to mask on my hair once a week, just to, in between haircuts, you know, prevent it from getting really just icky and nasty. Especially if you color treat your hair, um, I would recommend doing a hair mask. So it looks like this. You just take a generous amount, throw it on your hair, leave it on. I think for seven minutes. It says up to seven minutes. So shave your legs in between or whatever and then rinse it out. This is great stuff. I've actually been using that for a couple years. Anyways, um, I picked those up at Target. Every once in a while you'll see those on sale two for 30, which is awesome because they're 30 on their own. All right, let's get into some beauty stuff. Okay, so I have been giving my nails a rest for about a week or so as far as painting them goes. Um, and so today I wanted something springy and fun. So I picked up or I picked out the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Extreme Wear. I like the formula. I like this. Um, like she has different formulas within her line. I like this one. Um, and this one's called Lacy Lilac. And that's a scratch. <laughs> I'm really clumsy. And I because I always am doing things quickly and in a rush, I always am hurting myself. That is my bathroom cabinet. It sliced to my finger and I was not happy after I did it. <laughs> you know where you do something dumb and you just get kind of angry? Yeah, that's what happened. Um, anyway, this is the Lacy Lilac. I love it. It's a really pretty lilac color, really fun, totally summery, Easter egg type color. Um, yeah, that's the other thing I was going to grab. Made the mistake of buying Easter candy already. So I'm going to have to buy more because it's not going to make it till Easter. I love the Cadbury eggs with the, the hard shell on the outside, the chocolate on the inside. My husband hates them. They, that's okay with me. Um, and I love the, um, oh, he hates these too. <laughs> the the Whopper eggs and they're just these cute little Easter I just love those I hate peeps but I love Easter egg candy and so I yeah I made the mistake of buying it and so that's what I've been <sighs> feasting on this week all right makeup time so this week I have dug out my Smashbox CC cream I love this stuff however this shade is way too light for me right now. It's the shade Fair. Well, not way too light. It's just, if I wore this on its own, I look a little ghostly. So, I have been using this as my primer because this has a built-in primer in it. It has an SPF of 30. Um, this CC cream has dark spot correcting and I do have a couple dark spots. So over time, this kind of reduces and fades the look of the dark spots. Um, and it has a very luminous finish. It's very pretty. It has great coverage too. But since it's a little bit light for me, I've been using this as my primer and then going on top of it with a foundation that's a better shade for me. And because it's light, it's kind of giving me that brightening effect. Kind of like, let me grab this. Um, my Rachel K CC Cream, this is fair. This is equally as light. So I use this kind of as a brightener on my face, kind of like Lisa Lisa D1 does. So since this is the same concept, I've been using this to do that. And it's really been brightening up my complexion, giving it a very, um, a little bit of a dewy finish because that has radiant, like a dewy finish to it. Um, today I'm wearing the Estee Lauder Double Wear because I needed the coverage because like I just told you, um, well we had McDonald's last night and I had chocolate donuts and we're not going to go there. But anyways, when I eat stuff like that, my face breaks out and so I needed extra coverage. So I threw on my Estee Lauder Double Wear and this just kind of gives my skin a little bit more luminosity because the Estee Lauder Double Wear is definitely a matte finish and I like to have a little bit of radiance. I don't like to look completely flat. So I've been loving this. If you're looking for a CC cream that's going to give you coverage, it's going to have a primer in it, going to have dark spot fading, um, a high SPF, this is a great one to try out. Um, all right, this next thing I absolutely love. And I have not realized how much I loved it until I pulled it out and I've been using it 
every single day this week. I kid you not. I've created so many different eye looks using this palette. It is just awesome. And the, the one thing I really wanted to point out to you guys um, is the contour and highlighting shades in here. So what I'm referring to is the Smashbox Masterclass Palette number 3. This is limited edition. However, I bought mine last August, and it's still for sale. So I don't know how long limited edition is, but I'm telling you, for $65, buy this. Um, just buy it. It comes in a really nice hard case. I did my St. Patrick's Day tutorial this week using this, so check that tutorial out if you want to see how the shades work, but they blend so well. Um, it comes with cards to give you some different looks and quite a few different looks. And then if you are a makeup artist or if you just kind of do makeup on the side, this is great because it's going to travel well. It has, you know, the, um, whatever this thing is called to keep it together. But it comes, okay, I don't want to blind you here, so I'm going to look up at my monitor. Some of you want, this is my monitor. It's attached to my wall. It's a giant TV. This is, I mean, I could pull it closer, but this is where it's located. So when you wonder, what's she looking at? I'm not often thought I'm looking to make sure that I'm not either blinding you or that you can actually see what I'm talking about. So it comes with these plastic things to cover the shadows. And there are all the colors. I literally have used every single color this week with the exception of none. I've used them all. I've been playing around. I did a green green look today. I did um, kind of to mimic off of my shirt. I have steel and sky on my lid. My favorite color is sienna. This is absolutely stunning. If you have blue eyes, this makes them absolutely pop. I love it. I've been using vanilla a ton just to kind of... Um, start off my eye look all over everything and then nectar I have in my crease today to kind of warm it up um, These right here are so pigmented so creamy and for me this contour shade is on point It's not too gray It's not too cool, but it's not as warm as the bronze which is equally such a beautiful um, Color they're so creamy they blend oh so well and I think that these shades are the same shades that are in that Smashbox powder compact where you can buy these three and it comes with a brush it's sold on Sephora But for $65 you can get how many shades are in here? Um, let me count. Let me count to thy ways. Um, let's see bronze Contour so highlight is just a matte yellowish powder so I kind of use it to clean up bronze and contour shade Blend out so, so, so well. Just beautifully on the skin. It comes with three blushes, uh, like a pink, a nude, and a rosy color. And I was going to count the shades. You got four, eight, 12, 16. 16 color shades here, and then 16 more neutral shades. I don't know. I think if you're in the market for a contour palette, or a blush palette, or an eyeshadow, like this is everything in one. And I, I know I'm raving about this, but I'm just so, I'm so happy I bought this. I'm happy I dug it out this week. As I, I've created so many looks. I've, I've used them all, and I just, I love it. Okay, I'm done talking about that, but it's great. Um, for my blush, oh, I love this blush. I dug out this color this week because I'm looking for, like, a bright, brighter pink type of shade. And I love the Hourglass blushes. Love them. They're so natural like a lit from within they blend so well and they come in really soft pretty wearable colors nothing crazy um this is radiant magenta and she is beautiful so these are mixed with the uh you know their their uh lighting powders which i'd like to try more of those too i don't have a clue what one this is mixed with to tell you the truth oh it's radiant radiant light that's what it is so it has kind of like a shimmer sheen to it oh i love this color it's so soft and gentle, it's not loud, but look at that beautiful, beautiful glow. Oh my gosh, so I'm wearing this today. I love it, guys. I love these blushes. Highly recommend these. Um, that, uh, what is it, the Friends and Family Sale? I've been saying VIB. I should probably check out my source, but I think it's the Friends and Family VIB. Whatever, it's coming up in April. Add this to your wish list. Coincidentally, I am going to be filming a Chit Chatter Day. Um, on all of the things I'm wishing for and desiring to own. Um, so add this to your list. Add this to your list. You will not be disappointed. You will love them. For lips this week. Okay, so let me just take this off because I usually end up getting it everywhere <laughs> in the meantime and take a drink of this delicious coffee. Okay, so on my lips today, I was in Target. 
of course I was in Target. I love Target. Who doesn't love Target? And um, a few of you had said that this particular shade was kind of like my, um, let me grab it. Remember a couple, was it a couple weeks ago, I was talking about how I wanted to find a lipstick in the shade that was the same as my NYX Butter Gloss in Maple Blondie. Is this it? Nope, that's Peaches and Creams. Maple, Apple Strudel, where is it? There it is, Maple Blondie. I wanted to find a lipstick that looks like this. Well, I think I found something pretty close. And I think a few of you had said to buy this, and I am going to go on MAC and um, buy some stuff off of MAC, um, including that, what'd you say, sweet and, sh sweet and Sour and Sushi Kiss, you said? And I think a few of you said Flamingo. I'm going to look at those shades and um, find something to wear this summer, too, because I love my MAC lipsticks. But this I found from the new Rebel uh, Bloom collection, so it's so pretty, um, Peach Poppy. And I feel like this is, this is really close. And it's giving me that effect. I like those brighter, peachy shades on my lips. I feel like it just pulls out the blue in my eyes, you know? So let me swatch this next to it. Yes! Oh, gosh, yes. If you love this lip gloss, well, this is a little bit more pink. But that's okay, because I can always pinken it up with a lip liner or a gloss. But I love the Maybelline lip lipsticks. They smell... Fabulous. And over the top of that, well, I'm actually wearing it with Urban Decay Streak Lip Liner, so that might be brightening it up a little bit. But then over the top of it, I have one of my favorite Buxom um, lip glosses. This is called Bunny. And it's just a really soft, shimmering peach color. It has shimmer in it, but not like glitter or anything. It's just really soft. I don't think it's even anything that really comes off on the lips too much. Let me touch up here. It's gorgeous. So that's my lip combo, Bunny. And I love the Buxom lip glosses. They are my favorite formula. I do like the MAC lip glasses, but I only have like one of two. Um, and I'd like to get some more of those. I do like that formula as well, but I like the tangling feel. I feel like when I put it on, because of the mintiness and the tangling, it forces it to stay here instead of slipping all over the place, and I like that about it too. So I have some other fun colors I've been rocking this week. I've been into my corals, back into my corals this time of year where I'm just like, corals are my favorite. I love corals. I'm, like, I don't care if it's a shirt. I love mint too. I have a bunch of mint things I'm going to be wearing in upcoming videos, but coral and mint are my thing. Okay, so this color. This is the Bite High Pigment Pencil in the shade tart this stays on all day like I was drinking stuff I mean I had to touch up and whatever but for the most part this stayed on all day this was lovely um I like bite and this is so creamy so creamy I love it oh look at that color like that is just a juicy watermelon color um I love the formula of these this one doesn't have a scent Mallory it doesn't smell I love it. Um, some of the bite ones do have a little scent. This has no scent, so that's awesome. And then the other um, lip products I dug out, forgot I had, um, were my Rimmel Show Offs lip lacquers. I remember when these first came out, and I, and they're permanent now. In two colors that are my favorite. This one I've been wearing a ton. This one I wore yesterday. <sighs> this is gorgeous. So uh, this one's called Stellar. The formula on this, fabulous. Super glossy, super pigmented, like one coat is all you need of this stuff and you're going to get, oh, Stellar is fabulous. This to me is like a summer version of a red. So instead of wearing a red lip, you would wear this because this is going to be a little bit more pink, a little bit of punch. It's just a bright lip done in a non-red way. So if you don't like red lipstick, try this one out because it's going to give you that same brightened effect. It's going to brighten up your face. It's that classic look. Um, but if you're a little bit more into fuchsias, this one is going to do the trick. This one's apocalyptic. This is beautiful on. Oh, rich fuchsia color. Just beautiful. Let's see. Is it coming off more red? I'm going to have to check some of the setting. There is that. There we go. It's a little bit more pink like that. Oh, I love these. And these are so inexpensive. I would like to get a few more colors. Do you have any recommendations? Because these are the two that I own. Very bright and bold. 
maybe like a mid-tone pink or maybe they have a peachy color that I need a bit of. So that is it guys, that's all I have for today's Friday Loves. Um, I did post a couple tutorials this week, one with my sweet friend Melissa Parada from the Honeybee Philosophy. We posted a look um, using the Double Exposure Palette, each of us did something different. Uh, we, on Wednesday I'll have that link below and then Tuesday I had my St. Patrick's Day look using this. So go check that out. Um, tomorrow's Chit Chatter Day and I look forward to chit chatting with you guys. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you soon. Bye.